I know, I know, I'm late to the party. But while I was having one of the busiest weekends of my life, it turns out Kent Hughes was also having a very busy weekend as well. Okay, Jeff Petrie has finally been traded away, along with Ryan Paling, which for some reason sent shockwaves across the world. But I mean, come on, man, it's Ryan Paling. Guys, gee, get a hold of yourselves. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down the big trade and give my thoughts in general on all the fireworks that went down over the weekend. But first, before we begin, right when we thought our favorite pit licker was gonna be signed by another team, Kent Hughes, okay, who just so happens to be the Ash Ketchum of pit licks, swoops in and brings our boy back. Probably caught him up in a Pokeball. After letting him walk away, the Montreal Canadiens have signed the Rimster to a one-way, two-year deal with an average of about 1.1 million per season. And hey, I like this one. Amongst all of his family members, he's kind of the alpha male, you know, amongst pit licks right now. So if we're going to have any of them, we might as well keep Rim. That's for sure. And with the pit lick signing out of the way, it's time to move on to the big news, the meat and veg of this story. Because Jeff Petrie has been traded away to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Look at that, the Penguins adding toughness. That was a joke, of course. But anyway, here's how this one went down. We got... Jeff Petrie and Ryan Paling off to the Penguins in exchange for Mike Mathematician and a fourth round pick in 2023. Now first off, I just want to say I'm happy for Jeff Petrie, okay? I really am. He requested a trade a few months back because he wanted to be closer to home. The guy's basically got his own army of children. I think it's great. And uh, with Petrie now living close to home, who knows how many times the baby cannon is going to go off again over the next few years. I say eight, okay? I think they've got about eight more kids in them. What do you guys think? They're just going to be crawling right out of there. Anyway, moving on. Come on. Petrie gets his wish. I'm happy for him. Ryan Paling was also a part of the deal. You know, so Petrie, he gets a buddy partner on the plane and all that good stuff. But you know, this is where the story kind of takes a weird twist to me. Everybody's kind of attached to Ryan Paling for some reason. Come on, I know he was the first round pick. He scored a hat trick against the Leafs in his first game. and got a shootout winner as well. But other than that, he was... Uh no, I never really had to jump off the Ryan Paling hype train because I was never on it. To me, he seems like he's just a bottom six forward. And when you really take a look at the Habs prospect pool right now, I mean, you're not really going to miss him, okay? These guys, they grow on trees. So goodbye to Petrie and to Paling. I wish you guys all the best. But now let's see what the Canadians got back in return. Of course, we already mentioned the draft pick. They got a fourth round pick in 2023. But Mike... Matheson, who is this guy? Let's find out. Look at that, he's pretty much going home. Matheson is a defenseman, he shoots left, and he stands tall at 6 foot 2, 188 pounds. And don't let that weight scare you, okay? Because the Montreal Poutine is just going to make these numbers spike in the coming years. Right? He's going to balk up. In Poutine, we trust. If I've got faith in anything, it's Montreal's Poutine. Yeah, it's true. Matheson is also a former first-round pick at the Florida Panthers back in 2012. And just last season, he managed to muster up 11 goals and 20 assists giving him 31 points, which is not too shabby. If he can put up numbers like this in Montreal, then hey, we're going to be looking pretty good. Now, as for the mathematician's cap hit, he's already under contract until the 2026-2027 season, and he's going to be making 4.875 million bones. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking that Jeff Petrie, you know, he was going to fetch a lot more than what we just got in return. Everybody wanted a first round draft pick, they wanted prospects, they wanted a bowl of goulash, everybody wanted something. But really, when you take a look at how the market has been over the past couple of weeks, you know, with the Brent Burns trade, with Patch Ritty basically being given away like he's a kitten, really, when you take all these things into consideration, the Jeff Petrie trade wasn't too bad. Yeah, it could have been better, but it could have been worse too. And Kent Hughes, he already knows Mike Madison, okay? He's got a personal relationship with this guy. Apparently, he thinks Matheson is one of these guys that's just going to fit into the locker room like a glove and provide leadership for all the young'uns. 
And that's good, because the team does need all the leadership it can get with all the kids coming up. Anyway, we're done here. You can get off the toilet, because that does it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section on how you feel about the trade and everything that happened this weekend. And hey, I'll see you next time.